What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today what I have for you guys is by far one of the biggest leaks ever regarding Call of Duty 2015. Now guys, a lot of people are speculating this to be Black Ops 3, however in today's video I'm going to be supplying you guys with some astounding information that almost solidifies the name for the next Call of Duty. Now guys, this information was supplied to me through an unidentified source, however this source claimed that he does have connections to Treyarch Studios and it's very possible that this informant may even work for Treyarch. Treyarch. Now the reason why this information should be taken as truthful is because in March of 2013, a YouTuber by the name of Drifter, who I'm sure all of you guys are very familiar with, posted a video about leaked information for Call of Duty Ghosts, and that game later came out in the following November. Now with Drifter's leaks, they were supplied by a source very similar to this one, and it's very possible that that same informant who leaked Call of Duty Ghost information is the exact same person who is leaking information for Call of Duty 2015, so it is highly likely that this information that I am about to supply you guys is very true, however I'm not confirming anything, but I'm very hopeful that this information is going to be a huge advancement in our ideas for COD 2015. Now the source who supplied this information unfortunately needs to be kept anonymous because it would definitely jeopardize his well-being if he were to be discovered, but from the looks of it, this information is extremely authentic, so take from it what you will, and like I said, I'm going to be going ahead and reading you guys the supplied leaked information for Call of Duty 2015, which as of now, and according to the leaked information, is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So guys, the leaked information goes, I won't say who I am, I don't want to compromise my identity, but I will supply you with a general synopsis of the Call of Duty game coming out this year in 2015. The codename is Project Backfall, but the game is officially titled Black Ops 3. In it, you play as Ryan Mason, grandson of Alex Mason. The game is set in 2145, where severe tensions between Germany, under the power of the Fourth Reich, finally make a disastrous move against the rest of the world. I won't give too much away about that part, just to keep a little bit of story a surprise. Anyway, Ryan is sent back in time with the MDT, or the teleporter scene in the zombies mode. That's how zombies is tied in with the campaign. It technically isn't a separate storyline, but it does have a dedicated game mode where you do play as the original four characters. Ryan then finds himself 102 years in the past in the year of 1943, and now has to change the course of history or die trying. This Call of Duty is not a regular World War II game, as in it, it deals with the altered storyline of Origins. In this reality, Dr. Maxis finished the DG2 Wonder Weapon and gave it to the Nazis for usage, and you need to stop that. The legendary choice system from Black Ops 2 comes back but is drastically improved thanks to time jumps between the minds of Ryan and a soldier in 2145, you can see the effects of your decisions. This is how it is made into a future game and a World War II game through time jump rolls. Now if you're worried about the storyline of the first two Black Ops games being completely wiped out, don't worry, since Samantha made a rift in the space-time continuum, it's a different reality and this is a different timeline. Multiplayer has been redesigned and you can choose to do certain missions of the campaign in multiplayer lobbies, think Titanfall but executed better, it has also been upgraded to a 24 vs 24 in most lobbies. Yes, theater mode is back, don't worry, also don't believe any cover leaks yet, a cover has not been designed. Believe me or not, you can choose to take what I say as truth, although I cannot give you any supporting data. If I supplied any pictures or anything of that sort, it would compromise who I am and possibly land me in a lot of legal trouble. Wish you luck. So guys, that just about wraps up the leaked information, and as you guys can see, it was some absolutely astounding information, but believe what you will, I personally think that this information is true, as it makes so much sense to me, however, nothing is confirmed, it is all leaks and speculations, but let me know what you think about this information down in the comment section below, as I am extremely curious as to what you all think. Now for those of you who are still watching the video, go ahead and comment Black Ops 3 down in the comment section below, and while you're at it, go ahead and drop a like on today's video, and also subscribe if you have yet to do so, as I'm going to be posting a ton of things regarding Call of Duty 2015, and as of now, it is almost confirmed that it is going to be Black Ops 3. So guys, I'll catch you in the next Call of Duty video, and until next time guys, this has been Swifters, I'm out, peace.